What's going on guys, back with the Madden 13 video. Please do me a favor real quick, take a moment, hit the like button. Try to get every video up over 100, 150. Second of all, I ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Third of all, comment on the video if you feel so inclined. Last but not least, I'll play this at speed and ask you to follow me on Twitter. My username is Shutdown Safety. Beginning of the month, I started to do a video where I talked about Madden struggling to replicate basic plays. Want to wrap the month up the same way, but take it to another level compare all pro football 2k8 to the game while we do it so we're not going to focus on 13 different things turn this into a documentary of two games going to focus on the throw going to focus on the catch we'll leave it at that so obviously as you can see i'm down here at the goal line where it's very difficult to get a touchdown pass in a lot of defenders in a tight space confined areas leads to a lot of tip passes interceptions things like that so basically we're going to focus on first and foremost what Andrew Luck, the quarterback, sees when he releases this ball. And you can see I'm pretty much aiming for this giant void right here as Reggie Wayne comes across on this route. And you know, you can see pretty good route here as Reggie goes against Joe Hayden. Hayden plays on the outside, Reggie maintains the inside. And because the linebacker here is yet to come over, it leaves me a very nice window to throw the pass through. However, in this game, you know, animations really mean more than anything else. And as I run this at speed here, you're gonna see the ball comes in at a very bad angle. This ball actually appears that it was thrown almost to go to the left when it certainly wasn't. I was steering the ball away away from the defenders but you know this is really a terrible animation for this section of the field to have Reggie go out and basically do a one-handed leaping catch when if anything he should be catching and protecting the ball is a little bit redundant uh, the fact that Joe Hayden runs around him as we'll take a look at that from his perspective is even a little bit worse I mean I don't understand where this coverage is coming in where the defender is just going to watch the pass go in and then completely run around the man he was supposed to be protecting to me, this is just a little bit too much. You know, this is a pretty simple concept of what's trying to be done here. Run, catch the ball, and protect it, go into the end zone, and instead Madden comes up with this outcome. So going to load up All Pro Football 2K8, take a look at the nuances in that game. All right, back with All Pro Football 2K8, play this at speed, and then we'll go back and take a look at some of the differences. You know, obviously the tight end runs a different route here, and this is at the 10, not the 5, to be transparent. But still, you know, same concept and effects here. First of all, we'll notice how Reggie gets open, kind of stutters his feet, and cuts across. Very realistic way to gain separation, even in real life. And then as you see the pass come in, I dial the pass back to try to get the same catching animations and situation that we saw in Madden and you know I think we're all under the same assumption here and in, in understanding and comprehension of what's going on you know you basically got a ball being thrown to a wide receiver and a catch animation has to happen you know uh, it's not a hard concept to grasp in video game football the problem is in Madden you know in my opinion not only the lack of animations but the lack of reactions from players I want you to notice you know Reggie Wayne's feet here in particular as he shortens up his stride and makes an adjustment to catch this pass and it's still the same concept animation plays out catch gets made touchdown is scored but look at how much more seamless it can be if you have players reacting more than just a catching animation and to go ahead and take a look at just how the defense reacts to that you know that little short step allows them ample time to come in and close and we'll just watch from the cornerbacks perspective who's already been beat you know those short steps allow him to close in come up and make a tackle and you also have the linebacker here that's going to come across and make a tackle as well unlike with Madden where we kind of saw isolated players available you know certainly there's not going to be a triple team hit here but I like the fact that right now Brad Van Pelt is wrapping his arms up so is the corner and they're both going to attempt to stop this play you know, apart from that, the animation of Reggie kind of still driving his feet along to make sure he's in the end zone is a good one as well. And just to play this at speed from his perspective, I think that we see a lot of room for growth when we look at this game and compare it to what we have in Madden to get a much more realistic and improved simulation football game.